Because the reason we are here together is because of a gentleman called Indriyit Banayi. Indriyit Banayi was the director of knowledge societies of UNESCO. And uh, he was the guy who brought a number of great people together uh, to realize that we need to do something about that. And I would like to invite Andrew Tausik, one of those great people on stage, to say a couple of words about Indriyit, who unfortunately passed away last January. So, friends and colleagues, I'd just like to, for a couple of minutes, to remember, as Fritz said, uh, a unique friend and colleague. He was with us, as Fritz said, when we met last year, but this year, very sadly, he's not here. And yet, it cannot be said that in the fullest sense, he's missing since he would really have enjoyed and appreciated this round table session and feedback. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here at all because it was his partnership with Fritz and other key players, which is a cornerstone of what we are about, which we can really call our mission. For the Hague's to the Hague's unique global standing in law, epitomized by the World Court and mirrored in the Institute of which Fritz is the chair, Indrajit brought along the intergovernmental prestige and hitting power of the United Nations system. Through UNESCO, and last year also through the ITU, whose director general came in large measure because of his personal regard for Indrajit. So it's the whole system which Indrajit brought into The Hague, and what a combination that was. Shortly after he passed away near his Pondicherry home in Tamil Nadu, and I had the privilege of being with him in some of those last days at his home. UNESCO's regional director, Eric Falt, at a, delivered at a memorial service a tribute which he called eulogy for a tiger. And the tiger in Rajit, or as I called him, Jishu, was ranging from the bold and vehement, and yes, sometimes, indeed quite often, perhaps too vehement, to the gentle, sensitive, the brilliant mediator, as those of us who know observed him at sessions like this and mediating panels. He was absolutely brilliant at it. Much loved by his own team in the Knowledge Societies Division at UNESCO, and it's good we have um, Cedric is here today. Uh, he had um, uh, in his work a legendary passion for protecting the underdog, those who might not be able to protect themselves. And it's lovely to see, by the way, um, people like Cyril and Pavan here, who actually knew him very well, as Fritz and I did. Um, he wanted to bring high-tech and digital learning to empower those suffering disability and disadvantage. And in that same spirit, Indrajit especially valued the work he was doing with the UN Internet, Internet Governance Forum, believing in an internet which served the interests of humanity in a global sense, an aspiration which naturally due him to our historic effort here to provide a safe, accountable, and democratic internet. One which is backed by all the main stakeholders, including civil society and the corporate players. Indrajit would have just loved if he could have been here, and we should be proud of what he achieved, and I think what we are achieving in his spirit. Equally at home in the postdoctoral Academia of the Sorbonne and the Université de Quebec in Montreal, and in devising media skills programs in Singapore and Southeast Asia, at ease in the corridors of the United Nations, 
or the ten cent boardroom as he was in the cloisters and classrooms of the ashram where he and his brothers went to school four or five decades ago. So finally, just to repeat some words quoted by Eric Falt in that eulogy he gave last January, thoughts taken from a poem written in Indrajit's memory by a New Delhi colleague, Al-Amin Yusuf. You were more than a friend, more than a colleague, but there is something none can deny. The flame you lit will never die. So that is a great man. Thank you. <laughs>